and we can lay Arsenal to win. And we're going to do that at a price of £39.34. And, and there you go. So £100 risk to win 494 and to win 70. <laughs>I get asked quite a lot how I basically find edge in the market and essentially ask if I stake according to my edge and I do and today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that rather than just putting on a certain amount every single game. This is how I do it, it doesn't mean that it's correct but this is normally how I would do it. So this is another copy of the press run spreadsheet that I made, this is my own copy. Um, it's basically exactly the same as the one we made, but let me show you now. So if I set this up to be, let's just go for England for the purpose because there is a game tonight, I'm just going to... Um, update that in there okay so now that that is updated we're going to just pick everton versus well, fulham everton sorry in there and what you'll see is that it'll update itself as you can see here um in terms of the predicted odds and everything in here but the only thing that hasn't changed is our actual odds need updating and there's a very very easy way that we're going to just do this obviously we're just going to go to the betfair and then what we're going to do is we're just going to copy over the odds here. So at Fulham is 2.48. So let's put that in the Fulham column. Actual odds Fulham is 2.48. Actual odds of a draw is 3.4. And the actual odds of Everton is 3.3, as you can see here. So we put that in there, 3.3. So we can see is our predicted odds were 1.95, 4.2, and 3.93. So clearly, the, well, they're saying there's a value in back and Fulham to win this game. And no value in the other two options of a draw or Everton to win. Clearly for this, I think this is kind of swayed because Fulham won like 5-0. I think two games in a row at home. So obviously, clearly, I think they beat Forest and West Ham back-to-back 5-0 -back at home. So the, the home data is slightly swayed. But we'll use this stuff as an example. So what you can see now is basically this is how I calculate edge. So the way I essentially do this is to calculate the edge... I just do this equals one over that. Okay, so that's the percentage chance we have of winning. So probability, sorry. And to calculate edge, I basically do the actual odds, which is G21 divided by the predict predicted odds. This gives us a value of either like, it'll be in the vicinity of one. If it's perfectly correct, it'll be one. Clearly, you can see it's over one for this one because the actual odds are bigger and less than one for these two because the actual odds are smaller in there. Then what I do, Essentially, is then I basically say if the edge, so if the edge is greater than one, then I take one away from it. Otherwise, I do one minus the edge. Essentially, I'm basically finding the how close it is to one. So in this one is 27 away. This one is 20, uh, 0.19 away. 0.17 away. That's what I do, basically, if you see what I mean. So if you add those two together, that'll equal one. If you subtract this from this, that'll equal one, okay? Then what I do is essentially then I add all these up at the end here. So this is the sum of them, those three. And then what I do is basically I find out the percentage of the total. So what I want to see is basically what do I have the most edge in? So what I'm saying here is this is the sum of all of the edge I have. And this is the percentage of that total edge that this um, Fulham edge is. Then this here is the percentage chance percentage of the total edge that the draw edge is and then this is the percentage chance that the Everton edge is and obviously if you add all these together that should sum up to one okay um now that I have this then obviously over here then I know that because my edge is greater than one I can back otherwise I'm going to lay so that's why this comes in useful um but then this is very very important to so this at the top here is how much I'm going to stake okay so let me show you an example in a minute um and this here is the profit available if the bet wins. And this is how much we lose if the bet loses. Okay, so let me explain how I get these values here. So basically, we know that if G1 is greater than 1, that means we're going to back, right? So as long as we're going to back clearly, then that's just going to be um, G26, which is our edge, our percentage of the total edge times by our stakes we're going to stake 42 pound in there okay so what that essentially means is um because we want to risk 100 pound in total over the three events 42 percent of that over the 100 clearly gives us 42 pound and um, but if it's if we're going to lay the event we use this formula here that's basically the reverse of what it is to lay because obviously you know that when you're laying something so then in this instance that would be 
essentially so that you could ensure that your profit would be off what you are laying okay so as you can see here that's what we're going to do for all of those um then what you can see here is that if you take this if that is equal to back so if you're back in the event then the profit we're going to ever get is clearly just the stake times by the odds minus one as we all know there otherwise if you lay in the event then you just get your stake in terms of your profit so you can see that just here so that's why this is here that's just that 42 uh, pound times by the actual odds minus one which gives us a 62 pound profit and a 42 pound loss is clearly just minus the stake uh, but in the other instance just here you can see that because we are laying it then the profit available is the stake that we are doing so 12 pound and the risk is minus the stake times by the odds minus one that's how that works in there so in here in total this is absolutely this is confusing as anything but i need to make the screen big enough for you to see this there you go so this is an absolutely gigantic formula but basically what i've done here is this basically takes into account every permutation possible of if this equals back this equals lay this equals lay essentially so the first option is if all three are lay then clearly then we'd win uh if the home team won then we'd lose this one so we'd, we'd lose the home team we'd win both the away and the draw so the, whenever it's an eight basically that means we're going to win because that'll be from this column here and if it's a nine that means we're going to lose so this column here so clearly if we lay all three then we're going to lose the lay on the home team because the home team do win but we'll win the lay on the away in the draw um if it's back 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 then obviously we win this one but we'd lose them too and so on and so forth on every single permutation until the end and that would leave us in that position same process applies on these two but clearly the converse so then obviously if we're doing lay 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 then we'd then we'd win lose win if that makes sense and again that continues what you'll see is this will tell you the profit or loss for every single outcome given that we stick that much but let's put this into practice to show you that it actually does work so let's open betfair up again and i'm going to show you that these values should work exactly in there i'll use this side of the screen just so you can see it a bit better so you can see here we were told to back live it back fulham but we're going to lay the draw and we're going to lay everton sorry ball back back to back and odds of 2.48 we were told to stake 42 pound and we'll do 42 pound 44 then in terms of the draw we were told to lay the draw with 12 pound 68 so 12 pound 68 in there and in terms of everton we were told to lay everton with about 11 pound 80 and what you'll see is our total risk now is exactly as we expected in terms of 87 pound if fulham win 57 pound loss if everton win and a 61 pound if the draw wins in there so exactly what we expected in there and this obviously just shows to show how easy it is just to have an idea so based off our statistical analysis that's what we think is the best approach to go for in this game so even a bit more risk on everton let me show you a different example i was not going to show you the whole maths behind it again but i'm going to just show you that this will always give us the correct values on the market so let me explain so let's pick a different game let's pick for example if we were to go for um Luton versus Brighton in there, and then we'll open that up on the. So there you go. So let's go Luton versus Brighton. We're going to open that up on the big screen there. Here it is, Luton versus Brighton. So what we can see here is all updated up. Our actual odds for Luton is four point five. Our actual odds for a draw is four point two, and the actual odds for Brighton is one point eight one. Again, here we have the exact same thing of back in lane lane. That doesn't always happen. It's happened in this instance, but you can see here we are told to back lay and lay back with 58 pound and 41 pence so 58 pound 41 we are told to lay brighton with 24 pound and 84 and we are told to lay the draw with a price of six pound 70 671 and there you go 235 235.99 72 pound 57 and 55 pound that's because obviously i rounded that up a little bit but you see what i mean in there the exact same process applies so we can work out the exact thing we should stake and we'll do one last example hopefully where it isn't just back lay lay but i'll show you again in there so let's pick another example so let's just go for crystal palace versus sheffield united in there and we'll see what we get in here Honestly, i think that's going to give us the exact same outcome so we'll keep looking and we'll try and Maybe Nottingham Forest versus Arsenal might give us a better result. So here is the odds of Nottingham Forest versus Arsenal. We have odds of Forest winning at 9. So we're going to put that in there. So odds of Forest winning is at odds of 9. The odds of a draw is at odds of 5.1. 
and the odds of Arsenal winning here is 1.43. And now you can see in this instance, they must have back basically Forest or a draw and lay Arsenal. But interestingly, the profit is massively swayed towards the Forest win. Obviously, if Forest draw, so if the game ends a draw, we don't lose the full thing. And we have a £100 risk in total. So let's go and update this. So if we stay dependent, obviously at odds of nine, we know we can back with £59.76. We know we can lay the draw. So back the draw, I do say, should say. Um... And that is at a price of 5.1, staking £23.20, 20, 32, sorry. And we can lay Arsenal to win. And we're going to do that at a price of £39.34. And, and there you go. So £100 risk to win 494 and to win 75 Clearly, in this instance, I just want to stress, it does think Arsenal still will win the game. At odds of 1.73, there's sort of 57.4% chance of them winning the game. It just means in terms of value there's more value in back and forest or a draw to win this game than there is in back and arsenal and that's how the profit would, would swing if the game came in in this manner hope this explains uh, how to do it obviously in terms of this this code is very very complex so um i don't know if you want to just copy it off the screen if i make it full screen i'll leave it on the screen for two minutes so what i'll do is i'll leave this on the screen just for a minute you could just pause at any point if you want to just to take a screenshot of it i'll go back up there and i'll go down there you go and you want to, if you want to just copy it again i'll just pause the video at any point and finally in there as well there you go so hope you enjoyed this video this just shows how useful it is just to find edge and a stake appropriately obviously clearly there's no guarantee this is the right method this is personally what i do based off the value of prediction in process and distribution and obviously just be wary that you need to use other methods as well but that's just a basic approach thanks for watching if you want to see any um tutorials on how to build this person spreadsheet press this video right here and i'll show you how to build it from scratch